Hello and welcome to this new episode on the Munzee Tips and Tricks YouTube channel. I'm your host Buckeye and today we're going to be taking a look at the Munzee Virtual Garden Painter. So, if you're not familiar with what Munzee Gardens are, they are works of art that can be visible on the Munzee map. So, for example, I've made this garden previously, and they are a pair of glasses made out of night vision goggles. And today I'm going to be showing how you can make your very own garden. So, the first step is to go to this website, gardenpainter.ide.sk, or you can search Munzee Virtual Garden Painter or Virtual Garden Painter, and something should pop up. So you're gonna authentic you're gonna want to authenticate with Munzee, and if you authenticate with Munzee, which you just let this website look into your Munzee account, you will get these circles, and these circles are where physicals are currently deployed, which virtuals can be placed over top of them. Now, if we look around a little bit, we should see right up here. We should see. Let me check over here. Let's check over here. I know there's some over here. I may have to move it. So there would be red circles for virtuals. So if there's a red circle, you don't want to put your virtual there. So this little small area right here is over a couple parking lots, and I thought it was a very nice place to put my garden. So I'm going to move this up a little bit closer. So how this works is you set up your garden. So this is the grid. You can have it 20 by 20, 40 by 40, or 60 by 60, depending on what size you want your garden. This button right here makes it a square like this. This button will make it like an octagon. So if you want to make like a hexagon or an octagon or different shapes, it staggers them. This button right here hides all the pins. So if you want to take a nice screenshot of your garden, you can do so right there. This button moves this grid to your the center of your map. So if I wanted to move it way over here, I would push this button and it would move it right about here, right in the middle of my screen. If I wanted to rotate my garden, I can push these buttons and it tilts it five degrees at a time. And we'll put that back. Uh, these garden, these make it bigger. These refresh where all the circles are. This button hides all the virtuals. And this button hides all the physical circles, so you can see them popping on and off right there. This button moves all of your pins to the middle of your grid. So if I push this button, it would all move down to about right here, so it centers your design. This button allows you to take an image, import it in, and it will do its best to try to match it with virtual types and virtual colors. It might not look the best zoomed in, but when you zoom out, it should look pretty good, so that's always an option. Uh, you can reload an image back onto the map, and we'll discuss that later. And save, we'll save it to a Google Sheet. So if you want to make your garden, you're going to come down here, and you can pick there's virtuals, evolutions, other Munzees, and Munzees with large deploy proximity. So virtuals are just your standard colors. So you know you've got your black, you can click that there, we got green, we got some red, yellow maybe in there. So you just click them and place them on the map and make your design. If you're looking for help with the design, I recommend searching pixel art and just finding a small-ish, because you don't want it too big where it'll be impossible to fill because there'll just be so many Munzees. So just start off with a small garden, you know. If you want the POI right here, you have to have at least 50 pins in your garden. So I recommend right around 50. That was my first design was 53. So this garden right here is 49 pins right here. And then this would be 50, 51, 53, 55, 57 total pins, not counting the POI. Now... That's your virtuals. Your evolutions will work the same way. Other Munzees work the same way. Munzees with large deploy proximity, however, will work separately. So these Munzees have different radiuses that you need to follow. So joysticks are 150 feet apart. Mine are 300. This is the 300 foot gap. Uh, Air Mysteries, these are a 300 foot gap to all of those. Surprises, these are 300 feet apart from each other. And POI Virtual Garden is a half mile away from other POI Virtual Gardens. So previously you could use Munstat POI Planner, but unfortunately Munstat has closed down. Cup of Z version 2 should have a POI Planner. I hope it does. Or what you can do is, I just use Google Maps. So I measured, because I have, I want a POI Garden here. So I'll go click, right click there, measure distance, and we can take this out. 
So you're, you want a half mile, which is roughly 2,600 feet. So that means I would have to move my pin. I have to have my pin roughly around here. So if you look, I have my pin right roughly around there. Actually, I might move it down a little bit just to be safe. Because this is too far right here. So we'll aim for 2,900 feet, so right in front of O'Reilly's should be right here. So we'll just move this down a couple spots just to make sure we're safe. And we can double check that later. So once you are finished with your and happy with your garden design and you make sure all your pins line up and it looks good, you're going to click save. So now down here you can see my garden one CSV. Yours might say my garden CSV. Yours might say my garden 10 CSV. It's all the same. So you're going to open that and now for some reason, my computer likes to open it in Apache Open Office. It's fine. We're not going to be using this for long. So now you're going to go back to your Google. And you're going to search Google Sheets. Now, I Google Sheets is primarily what is used. I imagine there's other options, but this is the most convenient for everybody. So we're going to make a blank garden, a blank new sheet, sorry. And we're going to come down here to our Apache Open Office. And we're going to copy all of this. And if you want to load this back on to the map, we can do that. So we're just going to copy this because we don't need that on our public sheet. We're going to go back to our, this tab, yep, back to here, and just paste. So now all of the coordinates for every single pin, the type of Munzee, and the color. So this color column is kind of redundant, but... It doesn't, doesn't hurt to have it in there. So now you are all set with the technical part of it. Oh, probably just need to grab a screenshot. So you're just going to, you can just grab a screenshot of your virtual garden pin. We can turn the filter off. There we go. So we can just take a screenshot of this and it will work and look really nice. So that's how we can show people what our garden will look like. So we'll do that. And now we can come over here and we'll rename it. We'll do it Greenville. G garden. Now we can customize it a little bit and make it look more functional. So I like to add one to, if I right click on here, right click, you click on this little arrow and you'll say insert one left. So this will insert a row to the left. And I just like to add Munzee number and then I'll do G number one. G01, we'll do G02, G03, etc. etc. So if we select all of these, click this little blue guy, drag this all the way down. There we go. If you have 58 pins in our garden, which is plenty enough for our garden. So now what I'm doing is I'm just scrolling down and deleting all of these extra columns we don't need. So we'll just delete rows, delete rows, delete rows, and there we go. So now we have all of this information down. Now, if we right click on this, we can change that and oh, insert five above right here. That's what we want. So we can insert so many above. And this makes a really good like title section, if you can get what I'm saying. So for example, we'll merge all of these columns together by clicking that. Oh, not that button, this button. And we can select a text or a font for our garden. So let's pick a nice one here. Let's use some oxygen. I like that font. It looks very nice. So now you can kind of beautify it and, you know, set it up. So we'll do Greenville G Garden. And we can make this font bigger if we'd like. There we go. That looks nice. And a little description. A garden Bill Ohio. And then I like to add a map link and a sheet link. And I will tell you how to get both of these links here in a second. So if you want to map link, you're going to want to go to Munzee. And once this loads, we're going to come over here to our Munzee map. And we're going to go to the location where our garden is. So it should be right around here-ish. Permalink, right click this copy link address, 
go to our sheet and paste. And I'm just about running out of time, so we'll fast forward a little bit and I'll tell you how to do that. Alrighty, it started a new recording. So we just put in our map link and now our sheet link. So you can just copy and paste straight from here, but I think I like to do is go to tinyurl.com. So this basically will shorten long links. So instead of having to remember docs.google.com slash spreadsheet slash d one c etc., you can come over here, paste it into there, and there you go. Now there are other websites that you can use to shorten URLs. I prefer this one. There's also another one I used to use which would actually let you customize the link, but this is also fine. It makes it shorter and nicer to use. So there we go. We'll actually undo that. No, we want we want to do that. And we'll set the font to oxygen color. Um I want this blue. Alrighty. There we go. And we'll shrink this down to ten. So now if you right click this, you can set everything to ten. Make this bigger. Back up to twenty-four. There we go. All looks so spiffy now. So now you can add your image over here, and this will kind of be the flow of your garden. Um, one other thing I'd like to point out is we need to make a reserved and deployed column to show how full our garden is. So what I like to do is we'll merge these boxes and merge these boxes, and then we can merge these boxes. So basically I'm just making two boxes with a line through the middle merged. So basically, merging basically combines the boxes and makes one big box. Or cell, if you want to use cells. So, there's our garden. And these this row right here, we're just going to fill in with black. And then this will be our reserved. So we'll set this to 18 and we'll just type in reserved. And then down here, we'll do deployed. So now, it won't exactly tell you how deployed it is, but it will get pretty close and accurate. So, how we're going to do this is, this is our username column, so H, and our username, so I'm just checking over here, on my little cheat sheet over here. So, the formula is, equal, count if, parenthesis, H, and then, because that's our username column, so you just take whatever letter the username column is, and the first row, so this joystick right here, is in 7. So we'll do H7 through H, parenthesis, oh, sorry, H7, H7 through H, comma, quotation mark, open, close, quotation mark. So this is basically telling it, if there's any text in this column, add one to this counter. So there we go, there's 0, so if I add a little hello down here, in this column, it bumps it up to 1, and if I add a high, it bumps it up to 2. And it doesn't matter what I type in there, it will count it. So now deployed, it's going to be the same thing, but we're going to use I instead of H. So that formula again is equal count if I7 through I, comma, quotation mark, open close carrots, or whatever you want to call those things. And quotation marks again, and there we go, zero. So now if someone pastes their URL, it goes up by one. Now, we can just make these bigger real quick. There we go, looks very nice. And now we'll come over here and we have to figure out, well, how many percent? Like, how much percent is that? So all we have to do is equal the sum. Oh, my bad. Is the formula for this cell will be sum. And then you want whatever this box is right here. So this is I1. So we'll do I1 divided by the total number of pins, which is where our numbering comes in handy. So we just scroll down to the bottom. We have 58 pins. So 1 divided by 58 will give us our percentage. Actually, it won't, but we'll fix that in a second. So we're going to do this down here. This is I4, because it takes the top number, so this will be equal sum, parenthesis, I, 4 divided by 68. There we go. Very nice, very nice. Now, oh, 58, my bad, not 68. There we go, 58. So now, 
all you want to do is you're going to go click on your box, click format, number, oh, sorry, format, number, and percent. And that will change it to a percent. And it will keep it as a percent. So format, number, percent. There we go. So now we can change this text how we want. So let's make it a little bit bigger. Make it easier and prominent. That looks nice. And we'll set some borders as well. So we'll make every box like that. And there we go. It looks very nice. So now you can add up the picture over here if you like, like I did with my spyglasses garden. I put the picture over here. You can also color the pins if you'd like. So for example, our joystick, we can select this row, you know, make it maybe a light green because joysticks are kind of green. Air mysteries can be a slight yellowy color, etc. And you can go down and just kind of pretty it up. So if you want to change colors, text, whatever, you can make it prettier. And you can even delete columns. So if you don't want this color column, you can delete it. But just know you'll have to fix this, which it should be pretty simple. This box is this row. This box is this row. And then this box has to refer to this. And this box has to refer to this box. So it's all interlinked, so let's do a real quick example. So let's say I want to deploy this joystick, I'll type in my username. So there it goes, it shows I've reserved a spot. And we'll check someone else. Do Coach V, maybe he'll deploy in there for me. So now there's two people reserved. Two spots have been reserved, and that is 3% of our garden. Now if I go ahead and paste my Munzee URL, so we'll just do munzee.com. It shows that one has been deployed, and if Coach V does his, it shows two deployed. So there we go. So if, oh, and we can double check RPOI. Almost forgot. So we're going to scroll down. Here is RPOI, and we're going to copy those coordinates. Now, I like to use a website called bolter.com. It will show you coordinate distance between two points. So we're going to go to here from that, and now let me pull up my zodiac wheels to make sure that POI won't interfere. I That's the closest one I can think of. So we're just going to make sure we are within the distance. There we go, 0.54 miles south. So we are good to go. Our garden is now complete. I'll just add a picture later. And you can just set that over here, pretty it up however you like, and you'll be good to go. So if you'd like to share your garden, there are many Facebook groups you can join. There's pretty much if you search Munzee Virtual Garden, it, something will pop up and you can share it there. Uh, you can share gardens in the water cooler once. So I don't want you guys breaking any rules. And the Munzee Pop-Up Gardens Facebook group is for special gardens made by Space Coast Geostore. So don't post in there. Um, so if you need any help, just feel free to comment on this video on YouTube or Facebook. And I'm sure someone will help you. And this is also kind of show you how to deploy in a garden. So you'll go over here. You can copy these coordinates. Paste in the coordinates in your Munzee. Make sure you write your name. And then you just copy the URL. Make sure you get your deploy number and you'll be all set. And there you are. So I'd appreciate it if you deploy in this garden. I'll put a link down in the description. You don't have to, but wink, wink. You can if you want. I'm not going to deny any deploys. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for all the support. And as always, keep on capping. Another thing I forgot to add real quick, I'll slide in here, is your garden is currently only visible to you. So all you need to do to fix that is go to share. And then it'll share with people in groups. It'll come down here. This will be on viewer. So it'll say like restricted access. So you want to click anyone with the link, not restricted, you want anyone with the link, and editor. And done. So this will let them edit the sheet and let them deploy in your garden.